Hey guys, welcome to Wagwan Apps. Um, and we've been covering a few uh, controversial topics, I guess, regarding you know person tracking and you know location tracking and your personal information and being shared with companies and all this kind of stuff. Um, and we did a video recently about uh, location history tracking. The other thing that Google track is activity. So let's say. So what you can tell this, so this is an Android device, so if you go on your Android device, go to Google. Actually, let's go Google History, let's see what happens. So, if I, I search for Google History, and you can see it's come up with, Welcome to My Activity. Okay, so if I go to My Activity, what does it show? Let's have a look. So now, this is obviously an Android device, which is owned by Google. They made, they built Android. So they can put into, any, into this phone whatever software or... Uh, information collecting uh, stuff that they want so here so we know that they there's location history they can you know your your location has been tracked and it's for your own benefit but the thing is is that information is on a on a server somewhere which potentially could be hacked which if someone gets access to your phone they could see this information they could see where your what your travel patterns are where you go what you're doing blah 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 all this kind of stuff uh, which can be a bit evasive us and you know some people are not comfortable with that now the other thing that they have is my activity which is tracking the activity on this device or other all your other devices um and you can see straight away look you know it says i did a google history search um and you can see more details on welcome to my activity it says oh i was on facebook at blah 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 one fifty nine a.m i couldn't sleep um you know android system was doing this I checked welcome my activity because I was trying to research what the hell's going on. Look, I was on my browser, and if I go to it, it probably tells me what links. Um, actually, let's see. What is this? WhatsApp. So I was using WhatsApp. Let's see if there's more details. There you go. So I was using WhatsApp at this time, blah, blah, blah. I'm on Android, WhatsApp Messenger. It doesn't tell you what the messages were because Google can't do that. But uh, WhatsApp and Facebook probably can. Um, sorry, I lost it. So let's just go back. So if we go back again, your any links you use with your Chrome browser, for example, can be tracked. So or uh, are logged. So let's have a look. Let's see, uh, Chrome. Okay, it's not what I want to see. Let's say details. So I think I have cleared some stuff out. It's worth exploring to see what kind of info is being logged against you. Uh, for your account so i mean you're the only look it says only you can see this data google, google protects privacy and security and, and, and i do believe that to a certain degree but um you know you hear about people's personal identity being stolen and all this kind of stuff all the time and it's obviously been stolen from secure places things that have password protected and encrypted and all that kind of jazz um, but it still gets out right it still gets out even though you're not not it's not supposed to it still gets out so look it says i use my chrome i use my g cards i use my gmail look i watched a video of sir alex ferguson's reaction after the manchester derby which was yesterday <laughs> right you know i was on who say blah 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 all everything you do on this phone all the apps you use it knows that you're on this app for this much time um, with the Google specific apps like Chrome and stuff, it can give you more information like the websites you visited um, and things like that. And, and, and they collect this information for whatever reason. Um, you know, they, they say they collect it to uh, help you. And I, I guess it is it is helpful. But the thing is, is it needs to be more people need to be more aware that these things are ongoing and if they're happy for it, then fine. You know, it's fine if they if they're happy to be, if they're happy for their phone activities to be tracked or stored online. Look, I used the PlayStation app. I used Twitter. Blah blah blah. I was on some. I was searching on Google for bikes because I'm because I'm getting into mountain biking and stuff. I used my camera. Look, it's even got. I used my camera four times in that <laughs> yesterday or whatever it was. So look, you know, all my Google searches in Chrome. Everything's on there. Facebook, blah, 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 blah. I used the Premier League. I logged into the Premier League to check my FPL stats. I watched some wrestling videos because I was showing the kids. You know, I checked the score in live score for the Premier League. So, you know, you, you, I searched for this restaurant to find out what it was about because I heard, I heard it was decent. So, 
you know, everything, look, hair transplants, there you go, man, there you go, <laughs> everything's coming out now, right? So, um, yeah, it's just all your activities are being locked, you can see it right here. Now, I don't have to turn it off, actually, let's have a look, let's see. Okay, delete, so you can delete individual activities, so let's say, um, let, let's do that first, actually. I keep jumping out, so let's say I want to delete something. Come on, load up, load up, load up, load up. So let's say... I want to delete an individual thing, so you just click on this bit here and you say delete. And it says, yeah, yeah, you could delete just for this one. Say, so, great, done. Um, or I want to say, you know, I just don't want things on there, you know. And you guys know what I'm talking about if you're a bloke, you just, you know, there's things that you don't want to be saved. If your woman finds it and you're in trouble, right? So you can't be, you know, you, <laughs> it's not good in the first place, but... Your information's all over the all over the all over the phone, so you can access it because your phone's all, always logged into your Google account, right? So I say delete, delete. There you go. So three items delete from September thing. Now the question is, is how do we turn it off permanently? So activity controls. Let's see. Here we go. Here. So I guess we would say no. We don't want it on, so we turn it off. Many of our products like Google Now, Google Plus, use your web app, your web and app activity to prove their suggestions and updates. Pausing this will send a limit to the basically. So things like you know the Google Now cards and stuff, which you know tell you help was supposed to give you helpful, relevant information about traffic, about uh, things of your interest. You know, like if you're a techie and you search for phones and you search for this and that, Google Now cards kind of help give you relevant information in that area which is cool which is you know some of it's actually really cool but then you should be aware that how are they working that information out where are they getting you know all that kind of stuff from it's like cookies and browsers and stuff you know so now you have to you know now you have to when you go to a website you have to accept that they're going to be collecting cookies it, it, but it makes you aware that they are right before they were just doing it blindly now in a way this is kind of being done blindly and i've currently paused it you can see i paused it um, and I can say cancel and it goes back on, um, including Chrome browser history, look activity from websites and apps that use Google services. So you got to be, you know, so and location history is obviously paused. Device information, all that kind of stuff um, is on here. So this is all your activity controls. Look. So you should check this out if you're on an Android device or even on you can log on to the onto a browser on your PC, laptop, and check this stuff out. So you just look for activity, um, Google activity controls, or Google location history, or whatever, Google history, whatever. If you log into your, um, on a Chrome browser, log into your Google account, you know, you'll have access to this stuff, and you can see what is really being tracked, look. Lots of interesting stuff, look. Manage voice and audio activity. Help recognize your voice, so... Uh, every time you say something, you know, you, it's, it's probably recorded um, so they can better improve your voice or your speech um, fingerprint, for example. So um, there's better identification of what you're saying and how you're saying it. So when you say something, the system recognizes that you're asking something specific rather than, you know, giving you pretend, thinking that you're saying something else um, when you're not. So... It's a complicated one to explain, but I'm just trying to make you guys aware that it's there. It's being tracked. Uh, YouTube search history, for example. Look at this YouTube watch history. <laughs> Everything's on here under activity controls for my Google account. So you've got to be aware of that. Um, I'm sure there's going to be lots of questions around this. I've tried to explain it uh, or wing it in a way that you can get to it quickly and have a look at what's going on. But you can see that. Uh, you know everything you do on your Android device, and I'm sure it's very similar for Apple as well. So don't get you know don't get don't say oh you know Android is this and Android is that. Uh, and I'll show you some videos ra around um, Apple doing a similar thing uh, with location history, for example. Um, but look at this: all your apps, everything you used, when you used it, how long you were on it, and if it's Google related, it'll have more details like you know the type of search you did, what web browser you was on, what Instagram page you was on, Facebook, blah 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 blah. So beware of that. As long as you're aware of it, um, it's fine. That's the whole point of this video is to make you aware of it. So if you are not comfortable with that, you can take action to disable it. If it's on, it may already be off, but just it's always worth double checking anyway. Anyway, I hope you like the video. Please like and sub. Um, and um, what we'll do is 
answer any questions that you have around it or try our best to answer stuff we don't know everything we just kind of research the stuff online and try and present it to you in a video so you can it's easier for people to pick up rather than having to read lines and lines of web pages and stuff anyway catch up with you guys later keep an eye out for our next video